Hi there, my name is Matt Rashti. I'm a World Cultures teacher here at South Belt Middle School. Uh, my contact information is right here. It is my email address is matthew.rashti at bisd.net. And then uh, that's probably the best way to get a hold of me because I check my email pretty often throughout the day. And then that phone number there is the phone number to my classroom. Uh, that's kind of hit or miss sometimes because I won't always answer it. If I'm in the middle of a class, I won't answer the phone. Um, but if it's before or after school and you need to try to get a hold of me, I may be here and you can call that number. Um, I have a bachelor in science um, in history from Tarleton State University. I graduated in 2010 and I've been teaching for eight years total. I've been here at SBMS. This is the start of year four and I've taught everything from sixth grade world cultures to seventh grade Texas history, eighth grade U.S. history, ninth grade world geography and 10th grade world history. But world history and world cultures, both of those subject areas are what I'm pretty passionate about. So I really enjoy um, talking with uh, students about that stuff and teaching them the uh, wonderful you know, parts of geography and, and all that kind of stuff. So um, this is my classroom and I'll move this down here for a second so you can see I took a little panoramic view of it. Um, I'm, you know, big board in the front where we do a lot of stuff, a projector goes up there. Um, all the desks, and, and we have this year, because of all the fun festivities we have with COVID, we have some tape on the floor and things like that to make sure that we stay um, a safe distance apart in the classroom. Um, and let's see, put that back right there. Um, the curriculum, the, the way the class works is we take about the first six weeks of school to teach some um, basics of, of social studies. This is the first full-fledged social studies class that students have had. Um, and so we talk in the foundations of geography about some, some overviews of geography, of economics, of government, and of culture. Um, and then we take all that we've learned there in those six weeks, and we begin to apply them to a lot of other, um, I would say almost every other continent around the world. We don't talk about Antarctica, but we'll go to North and South America, and then we'll talk about Southwest Asia and North Africa. Sub-Saharan Africa, Europe and Russia, Asia, and then we'll end the year with Australia. Um, so it's a pretty fun course. The, the kids are going to see a lot of different cultures from a lot of different places. Um, they're going to see different examples of, of governments and things like that from all over the world. So it's, it's, a, really, it's a really fun thing to teach. Um, as far as grades go, um, just, just kind of be cautious. The official grade is going to be in Skyward. There may be some times where there's a grade or two in Schoology for whatever reason, but I will Skyward is always the one that will be up to date and ready to go um, And within that the major grades in my class are worth 60% of our grade and there will be three major grades per nine weeks and then minor grades are worth 40% and There will be nine of those at least in a nine weeks. So there's a pretty good mix of grades there so that your student has the best opportunity to um, you know, obtain the grades that they want and, and be consistent about that. And obviously I'm here to help them along the way. Um, everything for my class is found in Schoology. And um, it's, it's a pretty easy thing to, uh, to look through and to, you know, to kind of master. So I can kind of just show you here real quick. Um, let me make sure that that's there. Yes, I believe it is. So um, you can see here, this is kind of the homepage in Schoology. Your students' courses will be here. It'll say courses, and then you'll see, you know, whether they're second, third, fourth, fifth, or even if your student has me for Tiger Time. And within those, um, you're going to see all of the weeks, right? So week one, week two, and I'll put uh, I'll put all the assignments in here, and they're they're split up into days: Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Or if it's, you know, if it's a week where I only see my second period on Tuesday and Thursday, it'll be split up like that. So it's pretty easy to find. Um, and I think, you know, your kids, if you, if you guys have been online, you guys have already seen, you're going to zoom into my class and I try as hard as I can to include the kids that are at home that are remote learning because, you know, it's important to, to provide them with the same uh, educational opportunities that we do anybody else. And so hopefully they're having fun and hopefully the students that are in my class are having fun. I know that I'm enjoying the start of the year and I'm glad to be back on a regular schedule and, and doing with the things that I love. So. If you guys have any questions, uh, you can, again, email me or call me at, these, at this number.